of you. Today's online class is English grammar. The topic is adjectives. Adjectives tell some quality of a noun. We have learned about the nouns. Noun is the name of a thing. How the noun is? That the quality tells the adjective. Example, beautiful garden. Garden is the noun. How is the garden? Beautiful is the garden. So, beautiful is the adjective. Like that, different adjectives are there. Brave, honest, black, large, etc. So many words we can use as adjectives. Adjectives are four types. Number one is the same thing I told just now. Tells the quality of the noun. A brave child. Large flower. Black animal. Sick patient. Like that, different uh, qualities we can tell about the noun. Number two and three tell the number of nouns. Apples. How many apples are there? Three apples are there. These are second one used with the countable nouns. There are three apples. There are some animals. There are many animals. This is the first travel. Like that. Countable nouns. Third one is with the uncountable nouns. The quantity. The number of uncountable nouns. There is some milk. How much milk? There is some milk. Milk is an uncountable noun. Any people. How many people? Any people. Much time. How much time? Time is uncountable. How much time? Much time. There is much time. These are telling the numbers with the countable nouns and uncountable nouns. These are the adjectives. Number four tells which noun we are talking about. Which noun we are talking about. about. Mango. This mango is sweet. Which mango is sweet? This mango. This becomes the adjective here. This is adjective. This mango is a sweet. When the noun comes immediately after the adjective. This mango. Mango is the noun. The noun comes immediately after the adjective. This. This is, this is adjective. But when the noun does not come after the adjective, that adjective becomes a pronoun. Pronoun is another word used for noun. This is a sweet mango. This is a sweet mango. Here, this becomes a Pronoun telling about the mango. Mango's pronoun is a this. Mango is not coming immediately after this. So here this act as a pronoun. These are the different types of adjectives. Now we talk about a no. No and not any. 
no is equal to not any. No is an adjective. Any also is an adjective. No is an adjective. Any is also adjective. We can use not any in place of no. That is no means not any. No or any we can use with all types of nouns. That is countable, uncountable, singular, plural like that. Different examples are there. No boy, any boy, no boys, any boys, no tea, any tea. Not any we can use in place of no. There is no sugar in the pot. There is no sugar in the pot. There is not any sugar in the pot. In place of no. We use a not any. There is not any sugar in the pot. There are no apples in the tree. There are no apples in the tree. There are not any apples in the tree. There are not any apples. I have no money in my pocket. I have no money in my pocket. I have not any money in my pocket. We can use one word also for this. Not anything. Not anything equal to nothing. Not anything equal to nothing. We have not anything in the bag. We have nothing in the bag. We have not anything in the bag. We have Nothing in the bag. Not anybody. Nobody. Not anybody. Nobody. There is not anybody in the house. There is nobody in the house. There is not anybody in the house. There is nobody in the house. Like that. No, nothing. Nobody. Nowhere. None. These are words which with which you can use make different uh, sentences. Make different sentences using the words nowhere, nothing, nobody, none. Like that, make so many sentences as you can. the words few and little also. Few, a few, little, a little. Few, a few, little, a little. Few means not many. Few means not many. Little means not much. Few is used with countable nouns. Little is used with uncountable nouns. Few is used with Countable nouns and little is used with the uncountable nouns. These are plural nouns. Few, not many. A few is a little bit, it's a some number. Little bit, that is a positive sense. Few is a not many, no, that is negative sense. A few is a Positive sense, little bit is there. Some number is there. Like that, little is a no. That is negative sense. A little is a positive sense. Some quantity is there. That is a, along with the uh, uncountable nouns. I have few good books. I have few good books have little money. I have no money. 
No money at all. I have no money. I have a little money. I have a few good books. I have a few good books. That means I have some good books. Have a few good books means I have some good books. I have a little money means I have some money. I have some money. I have a little money. That is a few and a little are used with a positive sense. That is uh, with a uh, some amount is there. But uh, a few and little are used for negative sense that is not at all, not at all. There are some examples I have given, go through that examples and assignment is there that is make sentences using the words few, little, a few, a little and also Nowhere, nothing, nobody, none, etc. My channel Asha Shorts. Keep watching. The link is given in the channel name. Subscribe also. And keep watching the channel Asha Shorts. Keep watching. Subscribe also. Go through the link given in the channel name. See you next week with the English grammar. Keep watching the channel Asha Shorts.